What is going on, Lunatics? The evolution of Luna Classic is underway right now, and we are so close to a very different paradigm for the entire blockchain and what's been going on. I'm going to summarize some of this for you today. This is an ongoing process. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's not waste your time. Let's kick it off. First, Terra C. Vita. Now, this is Terraport, guys. Um, there is a governance proposal up. After much work, the final vote is here for Terra holders to decide whether to release the funds for dispersal of the Terraport hack liquidity provider compensation package. Now, you can go and vote for it over at terraport.finance slash governance. Anybody who's been affected. Full text of the compensation is right here. This proposal requires community vote for transferring uh, 21.486 million Terra from governance to a wallet assigned for token distribution to users affected by the Terraport hack that occurred on April 10, 2023, as per the compensation plan previously presented. Therefore, this figure includes tokens to be burned to be released via vesting over 10 months and released immediately for transparency. 79% of liquidity tokens was from Terraport itself. Um, now, this is the vote here. Make on this one and we can finally move forward on the compensation package for uh, Terraport. And uh, the outcome of this uh, vote will, will close this compensation plan. We recognize the vote for the proposal may result in sell pressure, reducing the value of Terra, but also gives users funds that may appreciate in value and gives them closure. And, you know, really what they're saying is at this point, guys, they're making it right. What happened uh, a year ago, they were hacked and uh, this will provide a little bit of closure to that. So, um, in the meantime, there's new features coming, including synthetic assets for Juris Protocol uh, to work a wallet and Launchpad V2. Uh, there's going to be a lot of growth that you're going to see in the Terraport ecosystem over the next um, uh, over the next little bit. So, um, big moves happening over at Terraport. If you're trading meme coins, Terraport is the place to go. Uh, don't forget, you've got Rocket, which is a tower defense game. Uh, you've got Juris Protocol, which is a lending application. Uh, you've got Cat with Hat. You've got Alpha. Uh, you've got a bunch of different ones over here, uh, including uh, what I miss here. Did I miss? If I missed one, you let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which ones we're talking about. And by the way, it's been simplified over here. You just pop over here and do a swap just that quickly if you were so inclined. It's uh, They're simplifying the whole process. And don't forget, by the way, that I, I've got mine staked here. Uh, still sold out. You can do the 14-day and that's it. But um, the launch pad, there is something green coming. There is a new launch getting ready to happen. And by the way, go look at the volume of trading on Rocket right now. The, these uh, and cat with hat. The, the, these things seem to be moving pretty good. Uh, interesting stuff. Uh, Coin hall, by the way. If you come over here, you can see Garuda is having a nice little pump going on right now. BBT as well. Uh, Jupiter. I got a big bag of Jupiter waiting for that big move to happen too. So um, let's break this down a little bit further. So we're done with Terraport. What about Burns? The Binance Burns came in. It was 1.14 billion Luna Classic for their monthly Burns. We check it out at Stake Bin and we see. 1.16138965 in this entire day. But what is this red candle at the bottom? And there it is. 46,300,000 uh, USTC were just burned off the chain. And guys, remember, it's 8.19 billion. Now it's 8.143 billion that are in the total supply. When you see something like that, guess what that does? That creates a shock to the system. And how did that play out on the chart? Well, we're up 6% on the day. Let me show you what the hour looks like over here. We're going to start to change some of what we're doing here in this chart. Um, so we got the we got the pump where we expected. We got the consolidation where we expected. Uh, now we're getting the, the retest right here. Uh, I think there's a breakout on the horizon because it's looking like there's interest. People are starting to look back at this uh, with, a, with a, a keen eye and they're seeing something really good now USTC look at this continuing on uh, made its bounce right off of the resistance that I gave you a little while back and what are we doing now just continuing on uh, this process remember right now we just burned 46 million people were shocked and surprised by seeing it come off of the supply and then add into it that we now know and we've got people out here telling us that there is at some point coming very very soon there is a repeg on the horizon. Now, is it a good repeg? We don't know that. We have no idea how it's going to ultimately play out, but that's not really the point. The point is 
that we're working on something out here in the background to make this really start to move. So um, get excited because I think this is the time right here. Uh, all hands on deck. I think we're going to be, uh, uh, I think we're in a new paradigm. Now, I, I do want to stress when I look at the chart, uh, I saw this continuing rise over here. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of, are we really seeing a breakout, if you will? I don't know that we're actually seeing the breakout. And remember, when USTC breaks out, and it does from time to time break out, then we're talking about, I, I told you right here that there's going to be a test at six and a half cents. We're only about halfway there. So uh, I, I do think that there is the potential here for a big, big retest. Um, and I gave you 10 cents by the end of the year because I think that we're about to start surging. I, th I think we're about to start seeing it. Today's the 1st of October. So interesting things happening over here. Um, Volume-wise, trading volume down. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit. You will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and five thousand dollars all right folks we're going for six months this time 29.6 apy contract has been created guys cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform and that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool folks sign up for cryptonomy.finance today start staking start earning exponentially because the excitement the thrill kind of wore off but still a pretty good amount for us i'll take that any day especially when we have a two percent increase in the overall market cap same thing over here ten percent increase in the terra uh, ust market cap um, trading volume down trading volume still pretty high people are getting the inkling right now there is a repeg on the horizon or there's the potential for a repeg on the horizon and people are wanting to make sure that they've got enough supply you know really how much do you buy today where in the event that it could be repegged to a dollar what changes your life right uh and if you just consider here we're about 40x away from a dollar so what can you put in what can you buy in USTC that makes it worth your while to hold on to some USTC right now in the off chance that this thing absolutely explodes and goes up to a, a dollar or starts to, to make its way back there increasing your value how many how many do you need to have so just decide how many you need to have and that's how many you should have so um you do your own math on that one but uh burns we got a, we got a good amount of burns here um look and by the way i, I do want to stress here this is not the burns that we were looking for off of binance i you know we we would like to see somewhere in the neighborhood of three or four billion every month that would that would give us a little bit more solace and comfort and this is a long-term process at this point um a, a little more excitement would happen here but that's because volume retail has still not returned there's a lot of analysis retail has not returned to crypto yet so that's what we're waiting for if that happens then everything's going to go absolutely bonkers but we're not there yet. Could be the first of the year before we see it. I think we start to see a growth here in October and November. But again, that's just a guess. Uh, as far as coin haul goes, we've got, uh, uh, we're down a little bit on our cat with hat. Uh, Garuda X were up, boys were up, Juris were up, food were up, Jupiter were up, uh, Luna Classic down just a little bit. Um, I sent a buddy a million because uh, they needed it. So um, just trying to help somebody out. Uh, so anyway, uh, back to what we were doing here. There's a proposal up here, voting requirements for validators in the top uh, 110. Um, th th this is, I don't, I don't think it's been fleshed out yet, but as a community, we, we voted to allow a higher number of validators, which gave some the opportunity to become part of the top 110. Voting re revealed that there are a certain number of reliable validators who vote, but it seems that, the, that some people use the chain but do not want to actively participate. Therefore, it makes sense to consider sanctioning these validators for not participating in votes that could even affect them because, uh, because it cannot be that upgrade proposals are made with less than 50% of validators voting. It, op it borders on arrogance and complacency towards the broad uh, participating community well, and, and by the way it's not decentralized it's not you know that's the requirement and that um, uh, forced decentralization is actually making it uh, uh, rules and regulations are in control that's not the libertarian principles but I understand where we're coming from we have to do a better job of communicating how important it is for people to vote not forcing compliance of them voting I don't think that's the answer however if the community votes on it then I support it 100% uh, it's not that big a deal to me it's not a, um, a not a hill that I want to fight so um, i don't think that it's the 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 right move but if the community decides 
then I'm all in support. Uh, so uh, finally, if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, 200 million euros from September 20th to December 22nd, 1.2 million euros from with Evolution Gaming from September 2nd, September 29. Uh, there, there's a bunch of stuff going on over here at Terra Casino. Should certainly check them out. Don't forget the fizzy penny slot. Um, a, a lot of fun to be had over here. A lot of risk-based gaming. Uh, this is the place that look. You need to be here. You need to be here. So uh, go check this out. And that's it. I think I may may have done this quicker than I ever have before. Ha ha ha. So that's it, guys. Have a good day. If you're looking for one of these shirts, this is Bleeves Crypto on YouTube. Uh, if you like this one, if you like the Mohawk thing, then uh, by all means, uh, there's a, a spreadsheet down below. You can go buy one of these shirts. Uh, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.